Biden pivots from BLM and declaring Minnesota police shooting no justification of violent riots. Topic report. Now that's the headline, but it, in general, this topic is really about Joe Biden and, well, the BLM and how he's responding here. Biden calls for investigation into Minnesota police shooting. I remember when Donald Trump said something about, well, let's wait to see the the investigation, they said, well, you're racist. You're racist for even asking. You're racist for even asking to get the facts. It is now racist to ask for the facts. Now, Biden has done that, and, and at least to the insane credit of the of the green shirts, that's what I'm calling now green shirts, they are turning on Biden and calling him a racist too. So at least they're consistent. President Joe Biden said, this is from ABC News, President Joe Biden said that the police shooting of Dante Wright in a suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota on Sunday was a really tragic thing that happened and called for an investigation into the incident. The question is, was it an accident? Was it intentional? That remains to be determined by a full-blown investigation, Biden said. I think also the question is, was why did you immediately go to the taser? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. And how is it that you have the ability to pull a taser out of your pocket and not realize that it's a gun? I don't, I mean, I've, I've had tasers in my hand and guns and they're very different. And this is a woman, I would, I would wager, if you were regularly training with your gun, whichever firearm you're using, your service revolver, whatever she used, whatever it was, a, a semi-automatic, whatever she used, if you're regularly training with it, there's no way that when you reach into your pocket and you say taser that you would not immediately realize, oh, that's a gun. So this goes to, again, the heart of, of to me, fundamental underlying problem of policing in America. First off, we ask them to do way too many things, and they never say no. I've t I talked about this before. Police, why is it that the, even the right is turning against you? Because you never say no. When politicians say do, you jump like good little sheep, and you do. You just follow orders. Not only do you just follow orders, but apparently you don't do the due diligence training to be responsible potential dealers of death. If you're going to be a dealer of death, if you're going to be a, a, a legal dealer of death, such as that is, you should have the sense of, of stewardship responsibility to assure you know what the heck you're doing. And I, I seriously doubt that this woman knew what the heck she was doing and that she should have been serving in the first place. So, again, like I said, in the, in, if you're watching this YouTube channel, you'll see that I did do another segment earlier on about uh, the the fact that she reached for a taser. Uh, so, so there's still more information. I do agree. There needs to be more information that comes out. But right now, color me skeptical. And I saw a meme recently that my brother Bill showed me where they're talking about all the excuses that police make when it comes to a shooting. And this just sounds like one of them. I thought it was a taser. Now in the video, she is saying taser, taser. But is she saying taser, taser? And she's, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot to, to, to be drawn from this. I will say this, of all the, of the shootings and whatnots out there, some of them are very dubious as far as what a human being should be even upset. And I still stand by my statement that nobody should be just rushing out and well nobody should be burning businesses down but nobody should be just rushing out on one report that says there was a cop shooting and because it's a black man we automatically assume the worst I don't think we should do that we also shouldn't we shouldn't assume the worst about either side at this point but in this case I think I think that it's hard to argue that these folks might 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 need to be a little bit outraged and these folks have had enough. I've, I said in another video also, I have very little sympathy for for the Antifa folks, the, the white, largely, I'll say at least largely suburban white folks who have decided that they're going to be outraged at the world and they go out and they crack skulls and burn buildings down. I got little sympathy for them, little understanding for them at this point. I used to have more understanding for them than I do now, but I definitely have more understanding for the folks that are living in these inner cities in these ghettos in these communities and what they have to deal with on a daily basis it's not just well in large part it is the police because the police are the ones enforcing all of these draconian laws on these folks but in addition to that there's all, all kinds of stuff going on in these uh, communities that i can understand why it is that these folks at this point are 
or they're fed up. They had enough. The Republicans say bootstraps, and the Democrats say uh, uh, kill, kill, kill whatever is the power. Either one is not going to help you in the end. I'll leave it at that for now. <laughs>